What's up guys, it's your boy Dano here. So, in today's video, we're gonna be putting in um, a new um, backup light for my Mustang, and, uh, and, and I already opened it, but I got it from this company called MP Concepts. Yeah, it's upside down, but uh, just how it is. Anyways. Anyways, that's what we're gonna be doing today, so. First thing we gotta do is pull my car back in here. I have some ramps to make it a little bit easier for me, but that's what we're about to do. You can see Gabriel out there. He's literally flying a kite. It's so windy, it's so cold today. It's like 37 degrees outside, but it is what it is. Let's get it going. Alright guys, so we got it on the jack. As you can see, we kind of ran into a little bit of a problem. Um, luckily, the car was fine and everything, but uh, I think I might have to buy some new Rhino ramps because they're a little bit messed up. As you can see, it broke right here and right there. And I mean, the rest of it was all fine on the other one, and the rest of it on that one's fine too. But you know, just for safety measures, I don't think I'm going to use these. I'll just use like the jacks that we have because we have like two of them and uh, yeah, just to be safe. I might get some more eventually, but <laughs> yeah, it just sucks. Anyways, though, we got the car on there. So what we're actually going to do is unplug the battery. Um, so I'm just going to pop the hood. take off those and you just uh you're really just gonna want to take the black one off you can stop recording all right guys once you take off this and have the battery disconnected just put it off to the side oh, are you gonna do a charlie break no all right guys, so when we look at the, um, the instructions, the first thing we have to do is take off these little bolts right underneath. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, we're just gonna take these off right there and we'll start there. All right guys, so to locate this one, I'm just gonna go right under the car. So we're gonna take off these little screws right here and they're all seven millimeters, so they're gonna be pretty easy. Uh, and they're just... All right, guys, and then the next one, you're gonna have a little clip right here. You're just gonna take off with a flathead screwdriver. Should be really easy. All you're gonna do is you're gonna get your flathead, and you're gonna slide it in between these. You just kind of pop it out, just to have this free right there. All right, guys, so after you remove that part, you're actually gonna just pinch right here, disconnect it, and you're gonna pull it out right there. And then you're gonna get a seven millimeter to take that off. And then you also have two other screws right up here, right up there. If y'all can see them, they're right over there that you gotta take off. So uh, I'm gonna take them off and then I'll get back. All right guys, so after you take this off, off after you take all those screws off, um, the little bolts, you're just gonna slide it on out. Oh, and then you also have this part over here. Actually, I didn't even look at it. Oh, it's just another pin. So uh, take the pin off of it real quick. And yeah, so. All right guys, so we got this off and this is the original one. As you can see, it's pretty basic, um, but that's kind of why I wanted to take it off. Um, I wanted to have something completely different that's uh, whenever you look at the back of my car, it's gonna stick out for sure. So introducing the new one right here. It's got the smoked casing right here. It's also LED right there, right there, and right there. It has uh, the bright red little cool line um, thing that I just really like. Uh, I heard whenever we connect it up, it's going to actually be connected to the brake lights too. So whenever I press on that, you're going to see these brighter too. So overall, I'm going to, I feel like these are going to be really cool and we're going to put them in just a little bit. All right, guys. So the next thing here, we actually got to uh, put the new, uh, we need to go ahead and put the new light in. Um, we're just going to use the same screws because uh, that's what it says. Uh, but yeah, mm -hmm. all right guys, so we got the new one. So we're but we're just gonna kind of slide it in there 
back where the other one was. So after we put the line in, we're gonna get the other two screws and uh, and we're gonna pop them back in as well as screw these back into it. It's, it's really supposed to hold this on um, so it's not like bouncing everywhere, but yeah, so we're gonna do that. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take your black wire. Um, from the instructions, it said the black wire is gonna go to the other black wire and then the white wire is gonna go to this like green slash purple, I guess, purple black wire. Uh, just put it right here. I'm just gonna clamp it down and you're gonna pull. Just like that. All right, so what you wanna do after that is you gotta twist them. Twist them a little bit. The kit actually came with some quick splice um, little connectors and uh, these are actually super helpful. So basically what you're gonna do is you're looking at it this way. You see the little opening right there? That's where you're gonna slide in the heart. That's where you're gonna slide in one of these wires. And then you see how it's kind of like, uh, it's not completely open on that side, but it is on this side. Well, you're going to put in this white wire right through there, right there. And then you got to get your white wire and put it all the way through. Pull this guy over and you're just going to pinch it, pinch it down right there. And you might even want to get some uh, your pinzas or pliers. Uh, pliers and you just want to, uh, kind of squeeze on it a little bit that might be it for that one and uh, we're gonna do the same thing for the other one this is nice and tight right there what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna tuck it in here and uh, oh yeah get this rubber band off honestly I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some of this tape that they gave us and uh, I know I know it's kind of sketchy, but I don't really care because um, I just don't want it to be hanging. So we're gonna get this tape right here, and uh, I'm I'm gonna just pull it up here and probably just tape it up on here, uh, just so it can stay up and kind of out of the way. On top of that, what you can do is wrap wrap these in tape so they're not really exposed because um, you know you don't want. Um, you don't want water getting onto like the actual uh, metal part of it and messing it up. I taped this off and everything, taped it all up just so like, uh, we just in case I ever run into water or you know, any like natural driving, you know, you don't want uh, you don't want the water in there like I said. So we already put the, the white and black ones on, so now we just have the red and blue ones. The only thing is these are gonna go to the brake lights. So what we gotta do is, uh, you see right up here, right where we're at, we're just gonna go up a little bit and you're gonna see this little wire that goes in here. This wire goes up into uh, back there, which connects to the brake lights. And you basically have to poke a little hole, but be really careful, you don't wanna mess anything up. So uh, I recommend getting something really small and sharp and just poking a small hole. Um, like I said, be really careful because if you break anything, poke anything else too far, or, or anything you can cause some electrical wiring electrical problems and you know no one wants that all right next thing we're gonna do is try and stuff these two wires in there um it might be a little bit hard especially if like you made the hole like small kind of like i did but now we're gonna go back around uh just go ahead and leave that how it is we're gonna pull it through through the other side so and when you're in the trunk you're gonna want to take this uh little cover off then you're gonna put that off there and then you can see right in here that the uh these two little wires came out or came through so we're just gonna what you're gonna want to do is just kind of pull them all the way through until you can't pull anymore but just just be careful you don't want to like mess anything up okay once you have that through we're actually gonna have to take off this panel right here but in order to do that we're gonna have to take off this panel here but this one's super simple to take off all you really do is unscrew these on both sides uh, down there too. We're just gonna take that off real quick and, uh, and we're gonna keep going with it. Take this one off. Come on. Uh, same with the other side. Pop it out. Nice thing over here, you have these little clips like uh, down, down there that we had, but these are pretty easy to take off. Just try to keep them together. You're just gonna kind of hold, hold this little carpet area and you're just gonna pull. 
And uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of slide this through and push it over. It should stay by itself, but if not, you can just kind of push it. All right, guys, so next thing, um, after you do that, what you're gonna wanna do, um, I'm gonna just take it off to make it a little bit easier for me. And uh, you're gonna be able to see that there's a green and purple wire. You won't be able to see from the video, but there's a green and purple wire uh, right there. And there's a yellow and red one that we need as well. It says on the instructions that we attach the red wire to the green and purple one. And uh, we're gonna do it the same way that we did the splicing for the other one, so. All right, that should be good for that one. Then for the next, for the blue wire, what we're gonna do for this one is the blue one goes to the yellow and red one. All right, we're gonna just squeeze on it a little bit more, both of them. Just make sure they're nice and tight, nice and connected. And that should be it. Now we're just gonna plug this back in, right there. We're gonna, uh, honestly, I probably should have cut these wires down. They're super, super long, but I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I'm just gonna kinda tuck them in right here. All right, guys, so we're finally done. Um, we're just gonna put everything back up where it goes and we're gonna see how it turned out. So honestly, I'm pretty excited. This lighting's kind of weird since it's like right over me, but yeah, we're just uh, we're gonna plug it in, uh, connect the battery, and you're about to see how it looks, so. All right guys, so we've just finished putting everything back together. Neither me or him have looked at it. The battery's connected and I'm about to turn it on to see how it looks. Uh, I'm honestly really excited. This took way too long. Um, and I'll honestly, this, if you watch the video, um, the way we did it, this should probably only take you, I'd say, I'd say maybe less than two hours. Maybe an hour if you're like efficient enough. Like um, yeah, this probably took us like three, three and a half hours total, but we did take breaks and, you know, we just, it's cold, so we didn't want to be out here. Anyways, um, now for the moment of truth, we're about to uh, show y'all what it looks like. <laughs> so this is what it's looking like so far. There's like obviously the regular back. It's obviously a lot dark. Let's uh, see how it looks. Three, three, two, one, go. Ooh. Holy crap. That looks so cool, the way it turned on. Oh, and y'all can't see how cool this looks either. Oh, it's like, it's like, it's more red in person. It's not as like that yellowy red. That, it's not as yellowy red as, as y'all see it, but this looks super good, honestly. Um, we're gonna turn it on. Uh, what do you think? It looks nice, actually. Yeah, so we're gonna turn it on and uh, put it in reverse just so we can look at that too. Um, so yeah. Right, guys so that's what it looks like and everything honestly the weird it, it flashes every time I step on the brake and stuff which is kind of weird but I really like it overall I like how it turned out and everything um, I think this is gonna be the end of the the end of the video um, if you did like the video make sure to like subscribe and comment let me know what are some other cool things I can do to my car or what y'all want to see next um, either way new video comes out every sunday at 10 30 a.m uh, make sure like i said hit the bell notification stay subscribed everything and yeah we'll see y'all next time peace honestly i really didn't like the flashing whenever uh you pressed on the brake 
just because like I don't want it to be distracting for people behind me and it, it just doesn't match. What I did was I actually just cut, uh, I left off the blue wire and just kind of left it alone because that's what connected it to the brake lights. And so now it's just gonna stay on regardless. And this is what it looks like right now. Uh, Nathan, go ahead and turn off my car. All right, so this is what it looks like. Um, we're just gonna give it a few seconds so it can turn off. But it should just run as like a, your daytime running lights, kind of like the front of lights, you know. Yeah, so honestly, I kind of like this better. Um, just kind of turns on with that. It's fine, it looks good. I think this looks a lot better and it's not as kind of annoying as the little flat. Anyways though, we're gonna get back to the outro of the video. Um, so yeah.